Hello and welcome. I am Cowboy Larry. Your normal narrator is tending to the garden. I hope you enjoy the fastest dodgeball in the West. I'm in it. The burly cowpoke struggled to get ketchup out of the squirt bottle. Cowboys growl a lot when they're angry and hungry. Allow me, said Cowboy Larry, who worked at the Wyatt Slurp Cafe. There's a secret to unclogging ketchup bottles. You just tap right here and... Grrr. Squirt! Oops! said Cowboy Larry. Grrr. Cowboys growl even more when they're hungry, angry, and covered in ketchup. Everyone at the table jumped up so fast that their chairs fell over. <laughs> Was that a laugh or a growl? Cowboy Larry asked, backing up faster than a horse in a snake pit. Sometimes it's hard to tell. <laughs> the cowboys forced Cowboy Larry into a corner. That's definitely a growl, said Cowboy Larry, grabbing another ketchup bottle. But I really didn't mean to squirt you. I was just showing that if you tap it here... Cowboy Larry did it again. He shot another stream of ketchup, splattering a second cowboy. Make that double oops, Cowboy Larry said, looking for an escape. Now, where there were three loaded ketchup bottles pointed at the trembling cucumber. They moved in closer and... Whap! 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 Three dodgeballs zipped across the room with perfect aim. The balls knocked the ketchup containers cleanly out of the grasp of the angry cowboys. All eyes turned toward the swinging doors of the restaurant. Standing there was none other than the heroic Sheriff Bob the Tomato, the second fastest dodgeball in the West. He had saved the day! The cowboys took five angry hops towards the lawman. They locked eyes. The tension in the room was thicker than flies around a skunk sock drawer. Suddenly, Sheriff Bob said with a smile, You know, if you want to get those ketchup stains out, first you should scrape them with a dull knife, and then blot them with a wet sponge. Really? One of the cowboys said. I usually have my cattle stomp on my clothes, then a blot with water. Your idea sounds better. For the rest of the morning, Sheriff Bob and the Cowboys shared tips on how to get rid of stains. He even told the Cowboys that he would take their ketchup-covered shirts to the Red River laundromat to clean them himself. Sheriff Bob was always doing good deeds like that. He knew that doing good deeds helped make good friends. And he had just made good friends with these boys. As Sheriff Bob used stain remover on one of the shirts, a little French buckaroo dashed into the laundromat. Sheriff Bob, trouble is coming, 
he shouted, hopping up and down. Rattlesnake Ricky has just gotten out of the buzzard neck jail, and he's coming to get you. Sheriff Bob thought back. He was the one who put Rattlesnake Ricky in jail for rustling grocery carts. Rattlesnake Ricky was probably on his way, seeking his revenge. He also happened to be the fastest dodgeball in the West. I can call you a taxi if you need to get out of town, said Cowboy Larry. I'm not gonna run from Ricky, Sheriff Bob said bravely. I'm Sheriff, and I've got a lot of good deeds to do today. And that's exactly what Sheriff Bob did. He helped Mayor Nezer mow his tumbleweeds. He helped Miss Kitty get her Cool Ranch Buffalo Chips out of the vending machine. He even gave Cowboy Larry lessons on hurling dodgeballs. That's me. Then later that afternoon, a cloud of dust was spotted on the horizon. The horse! The horse! shouted the little buckaroo. Rattlesnake Ricky is here! Frightened women hurried children into buildings. Scared cowboys ran for cover. Only Sheriff Bob and Cowboy Larry stood their ground. Rattlesnake Ricky reached the edge of town. The big pickle hopped off his wooden horse and moseyed down the street. Do you have my dodgeballs? Sheriff Bob whispered to Cowboy Larry. Sure thing, Sheriff Bob, said Cowboy Larry as he handed the sheriff one of the dodgeballs. The sheriff stared at the ball in shock. <gasps> it's flat, he said. That's right, whispered Cowboy Larry. I learned something important today. Never throw dodgeballs at a cactus for target practice. Cowboy Larry handed Sheriff Bob four more dodgeballs. All of them were as flat as a ten-gallon hat under a water buffalo. Cowboy Larry was really starting to worry about what might happen to Sheriff Bob. Sheriff Bob, I've been looking for you, snarled Rattlesnake Ricky. Without a dodgeball, Sheriff Bob was in big trouble. Was this the end of Sheriff Bob? Were his days of doing good deeds over? Would Rattlesnake Ricky run Sheriff Bob out of town for good? Will these questions ever end? All at once, Rattlesnake Ricky broke into a big smile. He dropped his dodgeball and ran across the dusty street to greet Sheriff Bob. I am so happy to see you, partner, said Ricky with a laugh. Cowboy Larry was puzzled. Don't you want to get back at Sheriff Bob for Putting you in jail? he asked. Of course not, Ricky exclaimed. Sheriff Bob was the only person who visited me in jail. 
He brought me cakes and cookies, and he even read some stories to me. Sheriff Bob was only the second fastest dodgeball in the West, but he was definitely the fastest good deed doer. And this time, doing good deeds had made him a good friend. From now on, I'm going to do nothing but the good deeds, Ricky said. And it's all thanks to my friend Sheriff Bob. For his first good deed, Rattlesnake Ricky treated Sheriff Bob and Cowboy Larry to some big, juicy burgers at the Wyatt Slurp Cafe. It was a beautiful end to a glorious day. No. If I could only get the ketchup out of this bottle for my fries, growled Rattlesnake Ricky. Let us consider how we can stir up one another to love. Let us help one another to do good works. Thank you for staying with me the whole time. Please be sure to subscribe if you would like to see more of these books. Leave a like and a comment down below. And we will see you next time. Thanks again. Have a good day.